Hey guys, how's it going? It's a height here with a brand new game called Chernobyl Liquidators Simulator. And if you don't know, you're basically role playing uh, someone trying to get people out of Chernobyl as it's blowing up and starting on fire. So it looks super fun and it's on Steam right now. This is like a demo slash play test available. And the full demo, like this is just a portion of the demo, but the full demo comes out this summer, sometime in June, I think. So look forward to that. But for now, this is about 30% of what the full demo is going to be. And I don't know what percentage of the game the full demo is going to be, but it's just a first little look-see at Chernobyl Liquidators. And I'm super excited about it. It's been on my watch list for a while. It looks like fun, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop in and check out this game. All right, here we are. First day on the job. Let's grab our map, our blueprints, our can, and our mask. And let's go. All right, so the first thing we have to do, it looks like, is, oh, this is Lieutenant Pravik. Colleagues, something serious has happened at the power plant. There is a huge outbreak of fires all around the Block 4 building, including the top roofs. It is also obvious the structure has partially collapsed. As we speak, the dispatcher is calling all units here, but we're first on the scene. We need to find out what's going on, so approach the building by breaking through the fire. Use the hose connected to the cylinder on your backs. This will allow you to get to the power plant quickly. Take out the map with two. Use the hose with one. Your character can walk or run. You toggle between with R, which is kind of annoying. Oh, or you sprint, which is good. Spacebar to jump. And it uses stamina. That is good. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? Interesting. Cooling stack, turbine. Block four and block three. Okay, cool. Let's, wait, what? 
Was I supposed to draw on this? Oops, I didn't want to pull my hose out just yet. A little early to pull my hose out, don't you think? Be careful, colleagues. These fires are hotter than we expected. Handling of this situation relies on us, though. So don't forget about your safety. Carefully watch your steps by lighting up headlamps on your helmets. Also, this action has been marked as having the respiratory hazard, hazard level 4. This means that those DP gas masks that we all love so much are a must for everyone. Better have some bitter taste in mouth than burning your lungs into a crisp. Gas mask G. Flashlight F. Got it. Let's go. Gas mask G. Flashlight F. Extinguish the fire. Let me just whip out my clipboard. Hose. Let me whip out my hose real quick. Ah, oh, look at that. We are pro gamers. Refill the water supply. Colleague, remember not to run out of water at all times. It's the best and often the only weapon against the flames. Despite the damage, the facility should have high pressure emergency water supply systems still mostly intact. Just find the hydrants and you'll know what to do. Oh, do I ever know what to do. All right, let's top it up here. Just connect her up. I'm not seeing anywhere where it tells me how much water I actually have. No. Hmm. Got a little burned or otherwise injured brother? If it's nothing too serious, just use those stimulants that we got supplied with some time. What? That makes it sound like they're like old and decaying. They sure have quite a kick in them, right? Okay, so C is to use a stimulant. We're supposed to get a shovel. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Okay. So, good, you fetched yourself one of these. As always, it will surely prove more than handy. Handy, get it? Get near the main fire. Okay, you're where we need you. You're the mobile unit today. This large tank you're carrying elsewhere on your back is a test everywhere. This large tank that you're carrying everywhere on your back is a testament to that. We're now put putting all of our forces into fighting the large fires that are on the front of the collapsed northern wall of block four. These don't give up easily, but I'm sure we'll eventually manage to contain them. In the meantime, we need you to enter the fire area from the western side. Get all the way toward the block's wall and put down the smaller flames that are lingering there. This is a dangerous task, comrade, but it's not the first one like that for you. Now, put on your gas mask and go with it. Over and out. I feel like all this stuff has been translated from a language that's not English, because some of it is not the best English. Can you feel that metallic taste in your mouth? Something strange is going on. Kibenko fainted. Ign Ignatienko is barely standing. There is something very wrong with this fire. Watch out for those shining fragments lying all around. I have a bad feeling about them. Don't touch them under any circumstances. Best to get them out of the main paths quickly before they affect any more of us. Alright. Let's just scoop her up. Hooper scooper on the case. There we go. Oh, that's a fire, and it's hot, and we should probably put some water on it, maybe. Yep, that looks good. It's just what the fireman ordered. There we go. Hints, the orange-colored ledge ahead should be accessible with some minor effort. Orange-colored ledge? Oh, this one? Looks like it's going to be hot up here. Extinguish small fires by the wall. Alright. Ooh, it looks hot over there. Let's put some water on it. Like this. Okay. Most of it's out. Uh... Am I supposed to? Why did the? Why do their hoses look like fire? They look like flamethrowers. Oh my god! I'm dying to something down there. Okay, it's hot. It's very hot. We need to use a med pack. Right through the jacket. Perfect. That's exactly how you're supposed to use one of those. Uh, get out of the main fire area. All right. Well, I guess we did our job. 
That was easy. Huh. I think I'm gonna have to ask for a raise. Good job putting out those fires, brother. This should make life easier for those for the hose teams. We managed to establish a temporary command center and supply storage. Come over, I have new orders for you to pick up. Okay. You're being pretty useful, aren't you? Yep, you're just gonna stare at that valve. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Good work, friend. You're essential to this whole service that we're doing. You as well. Good job. Keep up the great work. Maintaining the stockpile of healing packs might prove essential for survival. Look for wall-mounted medical lockers. Search them and collect whatever supplies are inside. Medical locker. Come here. Gif. There we go. Alright, that looks good. Comrade, we still don't know what happened, but it appears that the fire has caused major damage to the building's structure. We did quite a good job evacuating everyone, but some technicians have been cut off in the attic just below the huge cooling chimney on the very top. Power Plant's crews has already attempted to reach them from Block 3's side, but were unable to succeed. This is where you come in, comrade. We all know you're the best at getting through damaged spaces, so we need you to climb the main building all the way to the cooling stack's roof. Along the way, make through any obstacle using all means necessary. When on the place, assess the evacuation routes and make contact. We'll plan how to get you all out. Most of the Block 4 building has been evacuated, but you may find people that you will have to help. Start by collecting some tools that we've prepared and proceed to climb up to the roof of this building there. From there, find your way to the top. You'll be on your own there and it's going to be tough, but this is what we've been training for. Good luck. Oh boy. I guess the game actually starts now. So let's take some bolt cutters. And maybe that crowbar. Yeah. And maybe that crescent wrench over there. Nope. We're not taking the crescent wrench. Make good use of these comrades. Seems like they've been in our unit forever and have saved more lives than all of us combined. All right. Get to the first roof. Easy peasy. I should probably get some water before I go up there. Let me just attach my hose real quick. Perfect. Now, let's run up here. There's so many people just kind of standing around. Like, what is this guy even doing? What are you... What are you doing? Yep. Just pointing, counting. I don't know. Nothing useful. I'm about to go risk my life. Why are we stopping? Oh. Oh, boy. All right. Ignore that. Just keep going. It was fine. Nothing to see here. Oh, there's people here. Should I not be helping them? I'm like literally standing on a ladder. We can just bust the window open and let them out. Oh, and another guy. <laughs> Why is this thumb so weird? <laughs> what? Thumbs up, man. You're doing a good job standing around inside of a burning building. Good work. Yeah, it's warm. I bet. Oh, that is cool. Wow. Look at that, eh? That's something. Oh, I hope you're not scared of heights, guys. Why are we just looking around? There's literally a building on fire right now. A nuclear reactor on top of it all and here we are just kind of enjoying the view <laughs> okay where's my water can nope do that every time all right water let's go let's go yeah that's the sweet spot right there feels good come on oh yeah that's the good stuff right there come on a little bit more It sounds like I'm hitting it, but the fire's not going out. Am I too high? I don't know. It's hard to hit these things. Ah, that looks pretty good. How about that one over there? Get out. Come on. Out. The fire physics in this game are cool. 
It makes me want to play Ember again. Have you guys played Ember? Have you watched my episodes of Ember? If not, you're gonna want to check it out. If you like firefighting, the game is like Uber for firefighters. Exactly what you're looking for when you hire a firefighter. Okay. So I don't really know if I'm supposed to be going this way. What's going on here? Can I shoot through this? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Well, let's just go around the other way, I guess. Yeah, I saw this ledge here. I just wanted to see what was over there, so... Stuck. Alright. And... That is a hella big fire, so let's whip out our hose again. Let's see if we can... Put some of that out. Come on now. Yeah, that's perfect. A little bit more. Great. Let's go. And can I do something with this door? Oh. Oh yeah, we bought bolt cutters. Nice. Alright, that's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I could probably have to put that fire out right there. We're gonna burn our little toesies off. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's climb, let's go. I'm just thinking I probably wouldn't actually fit in here with this big water tank on my back. Come on. Uh-oh. We fell off. Don't do what I did, guys. Take two. I just jump over here. And maybe we gotta go higher? I don't know. It says get on the ladder, but like it's all just debris up there. Let's go higher, maybe. It wasn't going high enough. Okay, I literally can't go any higher. Oh! I thought I missed it again. Okay, let's get some water. I don't know why he opens the valve, then hooks the container, uh, hooks the hose on. It just, and then he just leaves it open. Oh! Yeah, he just leaves it open the second time. Okay. The simple way up is impossible, so you'll have to take a longer route, comrade. Move across the top of the northern block wall and reach the western supplementary wing. It seems mostly intact and should contain a staircase leading all the way to the roof. Technical pathways there should give you access to the cooling stack base. I am confident that you will succeed, brother. Oh boy. The old shift and jump. The old sprint jump. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna put that fire out first, though. Am I hitting it? Oh, we're hitting it now. It's hard to tell where my water is actually going. Alright. That looks good. Let's put this away. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I didn't. I, I, nailed, I nailed it. We did it. It was perfect. Oh, no. There's uranium up there. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. Come on. Out with you. Let's just... Come on. What do you... Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Whatever. We'll go that way. Uh, am I supposed to go down? I think so. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Alright. And I don't think I need water. Uh oh. Why am I taking damage? Why am I taking damage? It's not fair. Oh, it's hot. That's why. Okay. I need to heal some more. Take a quick shot of that. Take a hit. Alright. Let's put as much of this out as we can. Come on. Out. Out, 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 out. And then what? I'm just gonna run in it? Yeah, I'm just gonna run on it. Perfect. Oh. Gas max is not working properly. Okay, and I'm assuming we're gonna have to crouch. 
And now where do I go? What is this? Oh, right. Of course. We're just going to knock this reinforced concrete beam over with our arm. Guys, if you don't know, my day job is structural engineer and my night job is professional YouTuber. So <laughs> don't listen to this game. It's lying to you. And also don't listen to me. I'm not a professional YouTuber. But, oh my god. I am in fact a structural engineer. And that is not how you take down a concrete column. I'm just saying. So there's a little bit more fire here. And... Whoops, why can't I put this away? There we go. And now we got another little yellow ledge here to climb. Perfect. And apparently that fire is very hot. My poor life. I should probably take another hit. Okay, let's take one more hit. Let's go. Come on, how do I... I don't have any more med packs? <gasps> I don't have any more med packs. It says I have two, though. Well, it's not letting me use them. Well, here goes nothing. Let's go. We made it inside. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. It's getting hot. Oh no. Radiation sickness? Yeah. He didn't even take his mask off. We're still wearing our mask. I, I, didn't he just take a helmet off? Like, yeah, he didn't take the mask off. Oh, are we dead now? Did I do something wrong? What else could I have done? To be continued. Ah, game! Ah, you're gonna do that. Alright, guys. So it looks like that is the end of the playtest. And like I was saying, the demo is actually, it's supposed to be like three times as long as this. So we're probably going to pick that up. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you think of this game. Is it, does it look fun? Is it something that you would like to see more of in the future? Is it something that you would play in the future? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, guys. It helps me out with the algorithm. It lets more people see my content and I appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. It's very important and I really appreciate it when you guys take the time to hit that little thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. We post daily content and you don't want to miss any of it. Alright guys, other than that, I'm going to leave you here and I'll see you next time.